Hi, so I'm going to show you how to make a coupon for a specific person for a specific date on a specific product, as well as show you how to make coupons for customers that don't yet have um, accounts. So you'll go here, you'll go down to your, from your dashboard, you'll scroll down to your coupon tab, you'll click coupon, you'll go to add coupon, and you'll click that. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to make a coupon for a specific customer at a specific time. So we'll come here and we'll select a percentage discount. And for a reminder, all coupon details will be offered there. You can click on that and it will be a description as well as a how-to video. So if you want to know how to do that or if you want to know how to do first time purchase, just click view details. There's a video and description right there. So for right now, we're going to do a percentage discount. We'll say that you have to buy a minimum of one and you get a 25% discount. We'll create this one for a birthday. So we'll say, uh, so this one is gonna be named for a specific customer for Jim. Um, and then for the coupon code, which is we're not using yet, but you can just type it in here. Say happy birthday. For the start date, let's pick, pick a specific date for the customer's birthday. Let's say the birthday's on the 27th. So say you come in, you pay, buy that on your birthday, and you get a discount. And for the description, we'll just put happy birthday. All right, now we'll go ahead and pick the location that we want to do this for. Say you just pick your locations, or you could select all locations you're available to do this at. And now here's where you put a specific product or specific genre of products. Since we want to do select a specific product for this customer, what we'll do is we'll say the wholesale items. We don't really have to worry about the subcategory, but we can go do a specific product. So let's say it's RX Recovery Fit Aid that we get. And we want to select a specific customer. So we're going to go to the customer and we're going to select it that it's them. So now if you look up at the top, we say it's a percentage discount. They buy one, they get 25% off. It has a specific date to be used. It has a specific name of the coupon. And then we selected only one customer that can be, that can, is able to use it. We click save. And now that coupon's ready for that time frame. So you see the start date, the end date. During that time frame, they can purchase that. That's how you make the coupon for a specific time and a specific customer. Now let me show you how to do it for a customer that does not yet have an account. So you're going to go to Add Coupons. You're going to go to New Customer. You're going to select a fixed amount discount or a percentage discount. For right here, we'll do a fixed amount discount. We'll say it's a dollar fifty. That means a coupon discount of a dollar fifty. We'll say new customer one point five, and then we'll say new customer one point five. For the start date and end date. Whether we want this to always be available or whenever, we can select whichever dates. Right now, we'll say that it's only available for a time frame. For the description, we can put it anything. Since we want to put it for a specific customer, what we'll do here is we'll say that this is for, we'll select our location in the drop down, And then here's where we can select what specific product we want to offer the discount for. So for us, let's say we only want to offer it for one specific product. Now, if we wanted it for everything under, if we want it for every product, we just put select classification, but we're going to restrict it down to a specific product. Now, here are un, unregistered customers. This is where you would type in the mobile number. So you would put in, oh, we're able to select the unregistered customers. This is a customer without an account. We're giving this person a specific, uh, a specific discount. So when they create an account using that number, they'll be able to have it. Now that that coupon's created, they're able to go ahead and use it. Hope this helps. Thank you.